Chapter 21, Slot 3, Question Number 7. The arithmetic mean of scores of 25 students in an examination is 50. Five of these students top the exam with the same score. If the scores of other students are distinct integers with the lowest being 30, then the maximum possible score of toppers is. So one thing is there are 25 students of which 5 are toppers and 20 are other students. But the arithmetic mean of the scores is 50. So can we say that 50 is the arithmetic mean of all the students? Now what about the scores of other students? They are distinct integers with 30 being the first integer. So the first person will have 30, the second person will have 31, the third person will have 32 and so on. We'll go on till 49. 30 plus 30 to 49 are 20 students. Now, the total sum must be equal to sum of scores of 5 students who are toppers plus sum of remaining 20 students. This must be your total sum. Logically speaking, what is the total sum? 25 into 50. 25 is the total number of students. 50 is the average. This is the total sum. What is the sum of these 5 students? We don't know. Let us call their average marks to be x. So their score will be x. Plus, what will be the sum of these numbers? So obviously this is an arithmetic progression. So you can call this as an AP with 20 terms. So sum of an AP with 20 terms is 20 by 2 into A plus L. So 30 plus 49, which is equal to 790. So this is 790. So 1250 is equal to 5x plus 790 or 5x must be equal to 460, which means x must be 92. So the average score of toppers is 92. So is there any alternate method of solving this? Yes, there is a beautiful alternate method of solving this. If you know that sum of the deviation about the average is 0. So what is deviation? Deviation is nothing but score minus the average. So suppose the toppers have a score of x. So deviation for each topper must be x minus 50. So deviation for 5 toppers must be 5x minus 50. What about the deviation for the remaining 20? If you look at the scores of remaining 20 people, you can very easily see that since these numbers are in arithmetic progression, the average must be the 10th and the 11th term. In fact, the average of the 10th and 11th term. The 10th term from 30 will be 39 and the 11th term will be 40. So average of these terms must be 39.5. So deviation will be minus 10.5. So minus we have 20 into 10.5 which is 0. So we have 5x minus 250 minus 210 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 92. So this is another method which you can use to solve the same question.